Tonight, the LGBT network now calling for state lawsuits against the Connectquat School Board after a high school teacher was told by the district to take a specific pride flag off her classroom wall. Tonight, hundreds of students and parents are rallying against that move. Our Jed Selig is there in Bohemian. What are they all saying, Jen? Yeah, Doug, it was a packed house at that school board meeting, a heated one, too. In fact, the board had to take a 20 minute recess after people were shouting over each other when they were voicing their own concerns and opposite opinions after a high school teacher at this district was told by the school that she had to remove the progress pride flag from her classroom last week. We would like the flags back up. We would like an apology and we would like board members who will actually listen to the students affected by the policies that they put in place. Last week, the Connecticut Central School District sent out a message stating several students have felt uncomfortable by this specific flag. A high school teacher was told by the school to remove the progress pride flag, but was able to keep up the traditional pride flag in the classroom. The teacher eventually took down the flag after the district implemented a policy stating school employees shall not engage in political activities on school grounds. The LGBT network calling for legal action against the board, saying this ban is discriminating the LGBTQ plus community. Other community members expressing a different view on the issue. We're here today to represent the Republicans. We're a gay Republican group. We started this because the LGBT community with this one flag is it's a political game. There's one thing about having the pride flag. There's one thing of having a flag with a triangle in it. That's all political gain and it's teaching these kids wrong stuff. My identity shouldn't be considered political, so coming here meant a lot to me. The district is aware about the mixed perspectives about the progress pride flag in the classroom. The district says that they respect individual personal beliefs, but states the classroom is not the appropriate setting to express these views, especially if they create a disruption to the educational environment. So what's next? It's clear now what the board will do. They are expected to listen to over 60 community members voice their own concerns about this issue at that school board meeting. Again, the board says that they will take all the concerns and comments all into consideration, making sure that every student here at the district has a safe learning space.